Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create a view application with server-side rendering. So you don't actually need a meta framework like Nuxt to get server-side rendering for a view 3 application. Uh, if we take a look at the documentation, there's actually a section about server-side rendering and it even gives a basic tutorial on how to set it up. So let's go ahead and create a new view application. I'm going to use the Vite starter template. Let's call it this and install the dependencies. and open it in VS Code. Okay, so if we run this application right now, and if we take a look at the source code, we see that nothing is rendered on the server. So let's fix that, and it's actually very simple to do. So the first thing that we are going to need to do is we're going to change our dev server. So currently it's using the Vite development server, but we're not going to use it. In fact, we're going to be using Vite in middleware mode. And we're going to use Express as our server. So let's go ahead and install those dependencies. and change this to serve our server mjs file which we're going to create here in a moment so i'm just going to copy the code for the server here and all it does is read the index HTML file, then it renders the view application to a HTML string and serves it to the browser. Uh, view provides this render to string function, which can render a V node or the whole view application to a string, which is perfect in our case. And we're also going to be using the create SSR app instead of the create app from view. So those are the only differences here. And um, also uh, we set up the middleware so that the express basically uh, registers the Vite middlewares. Uh, and this is going to handle our uh, transformations, our TypeScript files, our view files and uh, dynamic modules. And for the document itself, it's going to serve our index HTML file. So now that we have this set up, we can actually do a little bit of cleanup here. And I always like to rename this to lowercase. You don't have to do that, but um, I just think it looks nice. Now in our app view, all we want to do is simply render our view like, like this. Now the next thing that we need to do is create our router itself. So and again I'm just gonna copy uh, the code for this. All it does is read all of the view files from our pages directory and create um, routes for the view router. So we can create our pages now. This is kind of the same thing that Nux does. Let's create our index page and our about page. And again I'm just going to copy some very basic uh, code here.
And same thing for the about page. Okay, now we can also update our uh, main TS file. We're not going to be using create app, we're going to be using the create SSR app instead. So this is going to hydrate our application once it's loaded. It basically adds event listeners and things like that. So now that we have all of this set up, if we did everything correctly, this should work. Um, so let's go ahead and try this. Okay, so we have our application running on port 3000. And if we take a look, there it is. And we can also inspect that it is server-side rendered. And hydration is also working. We can also test um, network requests. So we can simply add um, just fetch our to-dos here. Yep, and we see that those are also working. And if we take a look at the source code again, they're also here. So that's how you do server-side rendering with Vue. Uh, it has great SSR support. And the only things that you need to change is instead of using the create app, you need to use the create SSR app and you need to create this uh, custom server. And that's it. That's how you create view SSR applications. I hope that you find this useful. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know uh, down in the comments and I will see you next time.